Hey everybody, Michael Crump here yet again talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 homebrew news and much, much more. Today, I want to talk about this program that's called PKG Ripper. So what this application is supposed to do is it's supposed to remove content from PS4 package files in order to save hard disk drive space. So if we scroll down into the project just a little bit, PKG Ripper allows you to remove contents from your own backups of PS4 games. So basically this is going to save hard disk drive space and they also use this concept of patches. So these patches are publicly available on the internet. Here is the folder where all of the patches are stored at and these contain the files that it's going to either remove or modify in order to make your final package and the final install size smaller on your hard disk drive. We'll take a look at an example of one of these in just a moment. Okay, so scrolling on down into this project, you'll see there are some current patches. Now, this does not list all of the patches that are currently available. I believe this was more of just a demonstration of some of the games with the bigger file size differences by using this application. If we scroll down into this, it is going to require Windows, .NET Framework, as well as the fake package tools. Okay, so that's about it. Let's go ahead and scroll back up to the top and let's head over to releases. And then in releases, I believe this one, yeah, this one just came out yesterday. Go ahead and grab the .NET zip.dll as well as the PKG ripper.exe. And both of these are 100% safe. So go ahead and hit keep and you should be good to go. Next off, remember that it requires this fake package tools. So over here, it said fake package tools needs to be downloaded. So here is where that SOT lives. And we'll simply go to code and then we'll go to download zip. Okay, so heading back over to where the patches are being stored. Again, they're in this public repo. So you can come in here and you can pick one of these and you can take a look to see what type of modifications that they're being made. So this is one for Doom and it says in here duplicated content from this package. You can scroll down a little bit. You can see there's some sound banks. So for Polish, for Russian and a few others. So maybe if you do speak, you know, German natively, you could remove all of the other packs except for your language file. Okay, and so let's just go ahead and let's take a look at the game that we're going to investigate today. And that's going to simply be this file right here, which is just the game that is called Untitled Goose Game. And if we take a look at this, it says removes duplicates and this is for the USA version of the game. And there is also the content ID that should match up with your game. Again, the title ID should match with the title ID of the game that you're trying to run this on. So it says that it removes duplicates. It gives a PKG required version and an update version. So we can see maybe some language files that's in here and then there is a patch description, so fake patch, to link the updates with your base package file. Okay, enough talk. Let's just go ahead and let's see this in action. Okay, so I have placed the files that we just downloaded over here into my temp directory. And what I have is I have the .NET zip.dll as well as the PKG ripper, but we can't run this application just yet. First off, we need to extract the PS4 fake package tools. And let's just go ahead and let's do that right here in this folder. So we're going to go extract all and I'm going to hit the extract button here. So they will extract inside of this folder. I'm just going to grab both of these two files and I'm just going to copy them inside of this folder. So now I have a working folder that I can run this application in. And of course you could copy this and maybe put this in a folder structure that makes more sense to you. 
Okay, so I've copied mine out to just my PS4 directory and then PKG Ripper. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to launch pkgripper.exe. So first off, it's asking us for a package file to apply the patch. And what I have is I have the game package just right here. So this game package is 438 megabytes. This is the base game. And then I have the update setting right here, which is just 393 megabytes. Okay, so now we need to give it the package file to apply the patch. So I'm going to hit browse here. And this is the base package that we just saw just a moment ago. So I'm going to select that one. Okay, it found the content ID as well as the title ID. And it says select patches to apply. Be sure you don't pick two or more language patches. Okay, so I'm going to select the requires update 1.02 and it removes the duplicates. Let's go ahead and open up the destination folder here. Okay, and so we'll keep these side by side just so you can see what is exactly happening. So let's now go ahead and press the go button. And it just gives us a warning that we're going to need to give it the patch in just a moment. So let's hit OK. All right, it says image created. OK, so our base package is now sitting right here at 92 megabytes. If I go ahead and I bring over our other window, the original file size of this was setting at 449 megabytes. Okay, let's go ahead and let's apply the patch now. So we're going to go back over to browse and I'm going to select the patch. And let's go ahead and click this link right here. It says fake patch to link the update with your base package file. And now we need to remarry it back with this package file. So there it goes. By default, it brings us into that directory. So I'm going to select that. And now we're going to press go again. Okay, another image has been created. Patched file is 402. And then the main base package was just 92. If we compare that to the raw input files, we can see that there is quite a bit of a difference. So the first one base package again went to 92 megabytes and the second package for the most part stayed the same. But that is because they removed the duplicates in this. So you'll save a little bit of space on your hard disk drive, but where the space savings will also come from will also be on your PlayStation 4. So with this file size at 483 and then 831, that would give us a, about a 58% decrease in the file size of the package files, which is pretty notable. So this looks really good so far. Again, I know I'm just testing one game, but pretty impressed. Okay, so I didn't want to leave this section without at least talking about and trying a game that has been backported already. So these are two files. This is the base game that's been backported, and this has been backported to 6.72. Again, credible source, and it does run perfectly fine on my own PlayStation 4. And then here is the patch that was for that. So for the file size for both of these, we can see this is at 579 and then 402. Since I know that this package file has already been modified for the backport, I'm wondering how well the PKG Ripper tool actually works with it. So let's see if there's any sort of MD5 checksums or hashes or anything like that that's verifying before it does the work that it's actually applying the patch to the right file. Okay, so let's load up PKG Ripper again. And we're going to go to Browse. Okay, and so I'm going to take my backported ISO here for 1.00. Hit Open. So nothing has been flagged yet. We're going to select the required updates. Let's go ahead and open up that destination folder. This is going to be renamed to the original. And we'll close that out. We'll do this again. That way it creates the folder for us. Now we'll go ahead and we'll select Go. And OK there. So that one is sitting here at 92 megabytes. And now let's go ahead and let's select the patch. So again, we're in our temp and then backported. I'm selecting the patch here. 
and we need to remarry it with the package file it just created. So we'll select open. And now let's press go. Okay, so we can see that in the original, the base package was setting at 92,736 kilobytes versus 92,800 with the back port. The file size for the patch remained absolutely the same. Keep in mind, there is a log down here at the bottom. And so this log file will show you things such as like what was modified. So looking down through this, we can see there is a bunch of modified files in regards to the speech banks. And so looking right here inside of the patches, we can see that the high and the low is very present. So they must have been removing the high and the low like speech banks or whatever these exactly are and only keep in the medium quality. So maybe we will see that once we load up the game on our PlayStation 4.
there is an ability to make your own patch. So I'm gonna to go to patches here. I am going to go to create and let's go ahead and let's select the original base game of Untitled Goose Game. And once that's loaded, you could obviously come in here and give it a description as well as a package required version and an update version. And then let's just say you want to remove maybe the whole media folder. You can click on this button and it says content to be removed, media, maybe this folder too. And then you could come up here and you could give it a description, remove unneeded files, and you could create a patch file here. Okay, it says the patch file has been added to your patches directory. Now you can apply to your fake package. Okay, so you could easily make your own custom one. So let's get out of the patch creator and let's go back into our PKG Ripper and let's go to our patches and let's just go to date modified, which was this one right here. And I'm just going ahead and opening that inside of notepad here. Okay, so it picked everything in the media folder as I had selected. Again, I want to thank you so very much for watching the video. I hope this helped. I'm super excited about the developments in the PlayStation 4 scene. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe and then new updates, new developments in the PlayStation 4 scene. I'll have you covered. Thanks for watching. With that being said, Michael out.